Jealousy ever since the kid kicked it It's been obvious there ain't a living thing That could convince me to be stopping this But they're all hating and annoyed because I'm a Hugh Jackman and a boy from Oz And beating me isn't hard Exclusive here in Adelaide, man. It's a main event battle going down. Something special for the crowd. People here, make some noise if you're ready for this one. Let's go! Yeah. I'm your host for today, man. TGD, that guy Dave, and to my right, I got my host as well, Fletcher. Fletcher. Yeah. We got all the way from Florida, veteran of the battle scene, Mr. Magnus himself. Make some noise! Yeah. Yeah. Everybody trying to come out and trying to save this event with all the other stuff that was going down. Much appreciated. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming out and fucking getting this going still, you know? Of course, man. And to my right, no introduction needed. Known around all the fucking Australia pretty much these days, man. We got the one and only, the kid. Make some motherfucking noise! Yeah. Check out the music at kidmc.bandcamp.com. Let's do this. Shit. It's been a crazy, uh, it's crazy week. You hear about in the post-battle interview. Like, really shit. Well, look, we want to thank everybody for you know coming through and making this go through. So you know, props to everybody and everybody watching at home. Thank you for keeping this going. Now we did a coin flip before it fucking started, but we got on the kid. The kid chose to go first, so we got just because I'm a round, gentleman. You know what I mean? First round on the kid. I'm not a gentleman. All right, crowd, you with me? Yeah. 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 Tony. Writing for you had my mind in a stew. It was so fucking hard to decide what to do. Like, should I be creative and try something new, or should I just spit fat jokes that rhyme to love through? <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, after much deliberation, here is what I've decided to do. <clears throat> Welcome back, milky tits! <laughs> I gotta confess, I want a classic battle here, so I'm gonna impress. I hope you came prepared for this man, unlike Con on the rest, because if you're sleeping on me, then you'll squash me to death. <laughs> <laughs> you got a new EP, Mad Stacks. It's fucking lame and it's boring. The only Mad Stacks you're making are pancakes in the morning. <laughs> you got that Danny DeVito penguin build. You're not kind of round, you're fat as fuck. The type that's the same height lying down as standing up. <laughs> but Tony's been dieting hard and losing weight is the aim. Exercise and lifting weights going through different stages of pain. If you're wondering why it's not working and need to be making a change, well, Tony, a balanced diet ain't when your cheeseburgers are weighing the same. <laughs> <laughs> and from your recent performances, it should be overtaken with shame. Madness had so much promise, now we're wasting this game. Went from top tier to bottom, you were great, now you're lame. Which means the only thing that's been losing weight is your name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh? But, uh, dude. Why is that, man? Why are you still so fat? Who fed you up with tacos? Probably eating more shells than Harvey Presnell from Fargo's. No, I don't spray the gat, so I won't dead him with these harsh flows, but I'll make Tony fade to black like it's the end of The Sopranos. Whoa! Let's go! Let's get it. We got first round of madness, man. Show some love and respect to this veteran, bro. He's trying to say I fell off when he got a face that looks like he threw up on dick. Yeah, I do, yeah, I do, got, I do got milky tits. And the kid grew up on this. Oh. <laughs> well, well, well. Another international opponent for the fucking kid. Well, on behalf of all the other Aussie battlers in the scene, suck a dick. <laughs> in lyricism, he doesn't fit. After this match, you're gonna feel like I pulled every gun. No wonder you call yourself the kid. So you get fucking sunned by everyone. Yo, battle, battle raps are legit biz. And Tone, good customer. You know you're built like a little bitch when you somehow make Rome look muscular. <laughs> Bro, you suffer from baby body. Up against the heavyweight who's topping the fucking scales. But congrats, you do kind of look like a male model who models for other males. <laughs> <laughs> See, Soros came to Adelaide and told me some of the best women, he found them here. Mm. Well, if this is the best chick you got to offer, then get me the <laughs> fuck out of here! <laughs> See, ah, oh, mess. Some, uh, somebody get him a plate. 
You so much of a fag, it's hard setting them straight. Plus, you really look like Rose Byrne, but with like more feminine traits. It's kind of scary. You a man living in a woman's body like Tyler Perry. Pussy, I'll find your cherry that I like to top up like Guy Fieri. Ooh. See, uh, you versus Conceited was just an excuse to have a fucking play date. When this, ba when, when this battle drops, I'm gonna get locked for underage rape. Yeah. So, you smoking pole and drowning when as soon as tone will go overflow. Bro, you wore a Nintendo Power Glove against Khan and still had fucking no control. <laughs> Slow, slow your roll. As much as you want to be standing there talking shit, I was really thinking I probably should have pulled out. Because I ain't want the kid. Oh. So, get off my dick. You proper whack dude and you know that it's true. Plus, I'm the adult. So who you talking back to? Matter of fact, go to your room. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give it up for that round, people. Woo. All right. No waiting, man. Second round. Go, cool, go. Cool. Dude, those, uh, those haters are out there, man. It's been crazy. Since those international matchups, it's been getting even worse. What the fuck can I say, though, man? Jealousy's a curse. Mm. Dude, in your last battle, you dissed PH for being old and fat. How do you even spit that shit? Tony, you're 33 and you're obese. You fucking hypocrite. <laughs> but you should thank God for battle rap, because without the yak, you're just a fat alcoholic loser. I mean, if any chick had to pick, I doubt that they would choose you. Saying you get bitches are the worst lies. The only thing you've had triple X is your shirt size. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like you're about to give birth twice. <laughs> but a girl once told him she had a bun in the oven and Fatty had to think for a set. Shit, he got so excited he was itching to check. Started licking his fingers, fucking dripping with sweat till he opens up the oven and says, bitch, where's the bread? <laughs> Nah, that never happened to this babbling fat mess. I mean, for that to have happened, you would have had to have had sex. Oh. And what rhymes with Tony Madness? Lonely sadness. <laughs> but believe it or not, Fatty had friends at school. He wasn't a lone rhymer. I mean, when it was home time, they'd run and they'd go find you. You made him feel so gangster. Not because he's a dope rider, but when he sat in their cars, he made him a low rider. <laughs> time! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yo. See, yeah, what rhymes with Tony Madness, also lonely sadness. Come to think of it, I thought of a third one, bony faggot. See, <laughs> see, they get it. I'm a little older and fat. Let it go. When you said it, you should have called me a hippo crit. Oh. Would have been a fucking better joke. <laughs> see, <laughs> it has female listed for your gender on your birth certificate. Bro, if you want to be a dickhead, I brought surgeon instruments for a circumcision, kid. Ooh. See, oh man, for a circumcision, kid. See, I orchestrate death with words like a mind of a German physicist, pure legitimate. You can see the passion these verses written with. Uh, fucking motherfucker. Hold on, guys, just give me a second here. <laughs> uh, you see the passion these verses written with. Uh, you get Money doesn't equal I'm gonna skip a lot. Money doesn't equal talent in this culture, you can purchase membership. See on the low, in this scene, I heard you've been burning bridges quick, but here's three words for living with you, nerd. Earn your privileges. See, when it, I, I joke, but when it comes to rap, I'll be the first to discipline. Get out of line and you catch the same backhand I hurt these bitches with. So Damn, I am so fucking mad right now. Thank you, decoy. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Scott's the same backhand I hurt these bitches with. You left a successful career in real estate to become a shitty rapper. You're an idiot. So, I got that old school game like Tur Turbo Genesis, you could imagine. Plus, I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. Shoot him a Gavin. Oh. Hey, look at him laughing. You pushing 32. Right? I'm thinking life is good. I guess Nas was really onto something because you're in your second childhood. So, convincing everyone here that you win this battle, I'm thinking everyone got played. And plus, if you've seen the movie Kids, everyone got AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! There's a noise. Hey. Hey. Some crazy shit. We'll talk about it afterwards. Dude, why are you always. Yo, yo, yo. Let's do this shit. Why are you always calling people faggots? 
They are. Are you gay for the dick? It's okay, just admit. I mean, once or twice wouldn't be weird, but in every battle that you're in, you'd be saying that shit. Now, this might be hard to swallow, but you should change how you spit. I'd say you're hiding in the closet, but there's no way that you'd fit. Oh. And why do they bring it back out here? Are those heads on crack? Didn't they realize madness is send him back? So send him back is not meant for rap. What you've got here is not top tier, it's rented crap. Tone's been on that battling grind since 2009 And since Milky Tits you've had a mountain to climb Over 20 battles and bouts in that time And in a couple of them sure no one doubted your shine But consistency's the key which is why you've never opened doors It's inconsistency we see and why you're getting no applause If you want to open doors then watch what the kids do And even though what you know there's no way that it fit through them I mean, <laughs> Blackout 5 had 32 rappers So many making their returns and leaving us impressed but you didn't get a call up, cause they didn't see you with the best Cause there's no return for madness, what you're speaking is a mess Always reaching for your breath, you're a slow-witted, overweight comedian at best <laughs> So why should I be stepping my game up for this irrelevant lame fuck? You'll never be credible, I'm incredible, wake up Your efforts are terrible, bitch, it's best if you gave up Your speaking's like you're eating, your mouth's better to stay shut <laughs> This is a rap battle, bro, and you are not a rapper And you are definitely not an MC You've never been hot, if you think you could better whatever I've got then let See, no flow in the time and when Tony be rhyming it's only one line as he wrote Which is why you'll never be getting respect and will always be seen as a joke oh. Time! Oh. Last time I seen your chick, I was like, shit, <laughs> she better get it <laughs> Of course I couldn't fit in the closet, this motherfucker was already in it <laughs> you was coming Huh? You definitely knew that was coming. <laughs> See, you, uh, your bitch lips stay on my dick like some chapstick. She called it Don Rickles because it's a fat prick. See, <laughs> you probably suck a dick for dope. You got the whole world laughing, yo. Not being addicted to cocaine. You fucking suck at it, bro. <laughs> hey, see, in seconds he could clean off a glass plate like some Cascade. He heard I was that raw Colombian, so he kept trying to sniff me backstage. <laughs> you, you have AIDS out here hitting rails like a pro skater. This motherfucker took the Pepsi challenge, and somehow that shit still had a Coke flavor. Whoa. See, I don't know if you do blow, and I might catch a lot of scrutiny, but on the off chance that you do, I'm not skipping this opportunity. <laughs> See, with growing up, I was told you don't respect the fiend, but the pack seller. And crack got the kid hitting all them Z's like the last letter. You could get smacked or the ox cut your stomach up like an ab stretcher. The kid is just one of my sons like he's Jax Teller. Oh. Bro, you son, I actually got you. <laughs> See, that way you move around when you're rapping is some kind of wild choreography. When you have sex with your boyfriend, it's considered child pornography. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb fucker. <laughs> Crumbling as his life starts to unravel and uncover. Plus, nobody really cares for the kid like a young mother. You silly, you silly as shit. Get you a ghostwriter, Gilly the kid. I will smash a bomb over your head. I will Billy the kid. See, <laughs> see even if I got chokes, I got humor and bars. Kid, don't be stupid. Plus, in the streets, I put that pistol in your face like, here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> Time. Crazy battle just went down in Adelaide, man. Props to both of them for coming out, even though there's a whole bunch of fuckery in that, man. Props to Madness and shit flying out, getting it down, bro. Respect to the kid for holding it down, too. Everybody, make some noise if you enjoyed that one. Yeah. Right, Check out his music, it's dope as fuck. Check out mine as well. Yeah. What's up, motherfuckers? It's your boy, The Kid, and my man, Tony Madness, Madness in here, right? I'm from Adelaide, Kangaroo. Uh, now I'll be from Florida, man. Hey, hey, I did a battle. Hey, hey. I'm the Fonz, apparently. Hey, that's you, man. That's me. Hey, hey. <laughs>
I said some shit. Is he like from New York? And I was like, nah, man. His name's Gomez. He's fucking Colombian or some shit. I said you were Mexican. There's tons of Colombians from New York. I by said the you way. Were, you're not Mexican, are you? Nah, Colombian. You cut me when today when you said that shit. You're like I'm from um, Colombia. Yeah. That's where well, it's I'm from. from America, but my heritage is Colombian and British. And I was just like, am I gonna change that Mexican bar? I was like, nah, because I talk about tacos, so I kept that shit. Fuck you. I've been eating tacos the whole fucking time I've been here, which is I've eaten more tacos in Australia than I have in America in the past year. There's no Mexicans here, but the tacos are really good. I'm it's not even Mexican up. food, man. Yeah, they're, they're fucking good. So the battle just went down. We um, did the battle. We saved shit. We resurrected as like dawn from the dead in battle. We went through so much to make this happen. You have no idea right. from the no original idea. venue being pulled because of situations oh. to me and this guy actually having to throw the event ourselves right. last minute. Like find the location, shout out to legalize behind the camera. Find the fucking crowd, we had to message people, get this shit popping. It ended up being a pretty cool like, underground Yeah, battle, it was really cool, old school style, I liked it. Which was a good vibe, but like fucking, shit was weird. Like it started, like I don't know, a week ago, no, three days ago. Yeah, like one, three, three days ago. Yeah. Three days ago, this guy messaged me, he's like, dude, I'm planning on going home. And I was like, what the fuck are you joking? I thought he was playing around with me. His location looked like he was getting, he was staying in like a, a rape scene from the island. It looked pretty- Yeah, it was on some hot, like, Ominous. No pun intended, it was on some hostile shit, but like the movie hostile. For real, for real. And it was also pretty hostile to you and the fact that you, know, you didn't want to stay yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, the, I was the first place I said no. I said find me another place. That was next level, that place. You had a communal bathroom and shower. It was, yeah, and not even like, I, I've stayed at places like that before in my travels, right? But it was not the cool kind. This is madness, man. Look after this man when he comes out. So anyway, he, he reached out to me only because I'd hit you up about those kangaroos and yeah, shit. Yeah, oddly enough, because I was looking for kangaroos because I've been to Australia three times and i never fucking seen one. We don't have them in America. So I was like, I gotta see one. I put it on Facebook and he had messaged me and was like, yo, go here to see him. But well, also, fuck you because we're battling. <laughs> and then I knew, all right, this guy's cool. So then I told him, I hit him up. I was like, look, here's my situation. I'm, I'm probably going to go back home early because I've just... This, nothing is working out in this leg of the trip. And I thought you were playing, man. Like, I thought you were just talking shit. And then I was like, all right, let me know when that time's happening. And I've just altered my mind frame, had a little doobie, and I'm just off in a different world. And I'm like, tripping out of it. I'm like, let me know when that happens. And you're like, dude, the time is now. I'm, I'm getting home. So we activated uh, resurrection mode. And me and this dude cruised down to my beach house and just partied for a couple of nights. Talked funny shit to waitresses. Yeah. <laughs> so on the beach. It was fucking a lifesaver. But for real. On some real shit and like um this is some real shit. This guy's whole preparation was fucked up because of it. We went to the uh went to the beach house. When you're living with the dude you're battling with, your prep time is pretty much like restricted to showers and shit. So like I'm taking a shit while I'm doing it. I don't want to say that because I don't like toilet humor actually. I'm doing my thing, you know what I mean? Toilet while I'm doing humor. it. Yes. Actual toilet humor. Actual toilet humor. And I'm like rehearsing my bars, you know what I mean? He's like, who are you talking to? I'm like, no one, man, I'm talking to my shit. I yeah. always do that. I'm like, hey, dude, what's up? You know, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking shit. But anyway, it was crazy. It was weird. We delivered each other. And the last four days were fucking retarded as fuck. I'm sure it's, you know yeah, what's going on. So. I'm sure you can see it in my just exhausted <laughs> face. But this was, just so you know, and I'm just on some real shit, this was the worst situation. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't it, get much Everything worse. around it, losing the original venue, everything is just... We turned in the we turned into the promoters, the fucking Yeah, we, we, we ended up putting on the event we ourselves. Had to find the location, had to run into people, had to private message Cameraman, people. Cameraman, thank you very much. Yeah, man, shout out to Legalize, man. That guy's always holding it down, always. Um, but anyway, it was fucked, but we turned it around. I made a crazy couple of days. Let's talk about the battle, man. He won. <laughs> oh yeah, he definitely won. Remember my second round where I just didn't <laughs> put anything together <laughs> properly in prison? I, seriously, man, that fucking like when you're trying to remember your rhymes and you're like, you go through your mental pack like, yeah. I hit the floor, man. I was pissing myself with laughter. Like, yeah, I'm just so I'm out of it. I leave in the morning. It's when we were driving back today, I didn't tell you this, man. But when we were driving back today, we were playing like the Perfect Strangers theme song, which was dope. But anyway, you were like, listening to your fucking rap on your headphones. I couldn't hear it, but I could hear a voice. Here's the thing: is I made I took them off a couple of times just to make sure you couldn't hear it. I saw I saw I saw you doing that. I was like, he's sketching on to me right now. So yeah. I was just like, turn up the beats. I'm not I'm not listening to you, bro. But I was like, what's he saying, man? I knew you couldn't hear it. Yeah, man. 
But um, yeah, man, the battle went down. It was crazy. Uh, I'm happy it went down. You happy it went down? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad it went down. Regardless of my fuck up, I'm still glad it went down. It was fun, man. That's what it's about. And finally, we're, we're like back in the main civilization of Australia, away from the beach house. We can go and uh, get fucked and up today. Drink. Have some fun. Let's drink. And smick the boo. Smick it some beer. Smick a boo. You guys want to smick? <laughs> um, that's legalized behind the camera. Shout out to that motherfucker because he is always holding us down. This guy is a funny motherfucker and an, an all right human being, believe it or not. I thought he was a cunt, but this guy's great. He's good forever with me. So uh, yeah, we're good. We're gonna go fucked up. Get, get, get fucked up. I was gonna say we're gonna go get fucked. fucked up. I was just fucked up. Justin, you know what I, mean? I got it. Kid of madness. You're